Not good. Ah, oh, what? Come on. So there's another interactable on the right side. Torquey, okay. What we got? Developer fluid. Okay. Developer fluid, a bottle with photographic quick developing fluid. Develops and fixes photographs in seconds. Simply soak the undeveloped photo in the fluid. Okay. Combine it. Cool. Photograph that was inside the developing tank. Photograph shows some kind of digital but dot matrix code. I wonder what kind of machine could possibly process this code. Okay. The shelves have been empty. The outlines of various photographic equipment and price tags can still be seen in the dust and shelves. We just do shelves. Eh. Locked effective. This. I don't know. People's Army, 5th Finition Infantry Division, Unit 12. Okuyama, Rajit. Hyung An, Itu Lilith, Leong Rebecca Ng Elise, Park Nutberga, Seo Elena Wong Elena. Oh, that's hmm. Okay, so what can we do? Photo pack area there probably? Let's see, we do that. You can go back and see what the fire escape exit is. What we got? Is the photograph? Sure, what do we got? Sun, okay. Leaving. I have been found out. I'm sure the white-haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is bio resonant. Be careful. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I am on the next trip to Kitsa tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too, son. Okay. Sun. Tarot card depicting the 19th Major Arcanum Sun. Okay. That area is done. Let's check out that fire escape. Oh, they're gonna go down, okay. Oop. Electronics. It's just like the same sign. Okay. okay you drop that in there. Ah, get this fuzziness off the screen by doing the little Healy thing. And fire escape. Oh, more floors, huh? Ooh, not good. Ah, oh, there's a thing right there, too, huh? Dang it. There's two at the end of the hallway and one that comes up to the floor. Great. Uh, I hate doing the little save thing, but... It's annoying with the whole screen shake thing. 
fine. Okay, well, his enemy's down, but that would connect to the rest. Well, that'd be the other side of the commercial corridor. Okay, what's up? Alleyway. Ooh, I'm on the bottom. Zero five zero seven five. There's a the middle of one. It's real weight. Leave the ammo. There we go. Now at dangerously low health. Oh. There are others in the room. Air spray? Sure. Reunification. Reunification at any cost. Orbital defense, cannon battery, Veneta 12. Bouillon and Kitsa in our crosshairs. Artillery divisions of the People's Army. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, I was going to say, I should see if there's anything over there. Alright, there's a hallway. Oh, and a lot of doors. Flare, ammo, flare, uh, Elster, okay, Pura Idola, okay, plant, what's this? Fire resonance technology and its limitations. Classified, no other technology has shaped our nation as ball resonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like climaforming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt donor to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. You okay? Uh, we got a safe there. And we picked up nitro around. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in that apartment. Nothing. Okay. Locked. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Ah, there's two shields there. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot. All right, that camera, that that regular hallway. Oh, that's a two-sided door too. All right. And blast past him. You know. Lock. Ow. Lock. Shoot. Lock. Open. Okay. Oh, need to come in here. Okay. Oh, I got the magpie, so now I can't go in that room anyway. Shoot. Alright, so I have to go back through them. There's more to this than meets the eye. Got one more spot. Red diskette. I read Magneto optical data storage diskette for use in office computers. The label says Patients Archive. Patients Archived. Well, oh, shoot. I'm going to get back through the department. Ooh, survive, please. Ooh, barely. Okay, well, if I go... Where would that drop take me? Garbage chute. Okay, so if I go through the drop... It'll put me all the way to the garbage chute. That would probably hurt. Okay. Steve, you don't need the rifle around. Don't need don't need that thermite. We could do with the explosive right now. Just to clear that hallway. Maybe mess with the thermite too. Why not? Hmm. Drop the red disc for now. Get some health, because I think if right now we use that grenade, we're going to die from one shot. Okay. Ooh. Equipping it would help. Ow. Shoot! Out. That was bad. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't have enough ammo for that. To mess around and miss. We're still on pretty dire terms there. All right. So we gotta watch. That back area there. Oop. Eat that thing. Ah, there's something there too. 
Unlock door. Go through. Dang it. Oh, this is bad. Locked. Great. Thermite these. Really no use. There we go. The red eye. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sectors of Rotfront related to paraidolia, tendency to see meaningful images and random patterns. Like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well known that the so called red eye is simply an anti cyclonic storm produced by a high pressure region in the atmosphere of Rotfront's planet. Yet for some of the early settlers of Rotfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. The red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance by the protectors and the tight grip of the central government on Hemet. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. Ah, so kind of like the TVs. During the celebration of Mondfest at the end of each season, adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution. But the red coins share an eerie resemblance to that red eye. Or is this just pure too? Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or a similar paint thinner. Spending or regifting painted covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. Huh. I guess there's some right there. Okay, so going through that, there's a door. Right. Let's try it. Immediate find out. Okay. Hmm. We have one thermite. Okay, well, we need the health. Right, so, don't need that. Oh! Right. The so next would be. The upper floor. We can go up. We don't know the code for the safe. This floor. We can't go... The hospital hallway is blocked. So then we can't go... We have to go through the commercial corridor, probably? We got the scanner room. That's probably going to be blocked by the time we get over there. So yeah, our only way is to go through the commercial corridor, which is packed with stuff. Great. Alright, well. 
It seems like getting those cards blocks ways. Uh, all right. Oh, well, let's get some stun, stun prods. So we cleared all that. Stomp. Brew. Okay. That gets rid of one. Ooh. All right. Lock on their side. Shoot. Ito books. All right. Hmm. Wonder if I can this is gonna be a make or break one. Boom, yes. Double. Ooh. Alright. Now we can just go past that. Not to worry about it. Cool. They're gonna get back up eventually though. That was last grenade around, so we're up to or down to the uh, revolver. Because we only have two shotgun shells. Oh, we need the. What is it? Just get. There it is. Use the red to sketch, sure. A bank. Oh boy. A lot of people. In Gabriel uh NGG B R L R O one fifty six D out front I S yada yada yada. Alright, occupation construction worker. Medical history, chronic asthma, osteoporosis, severe hearing loss, doctor's notes, conclear implant requested. Oh, download all. Okay. Medical database, private data for medically or personal use. Run walls with a. Um. Medical technician retired. Chronic. Obstructive pulmonary disease, multiple sclerosis, insomnia. Patient is forgetful about her medication. Geo Waltrod. Factory worker. Irritative bronchial asthma. Doctor's notes did not react well to antibiotics. Ito Erica. That's that check we've been seeing, I think. Well, we're on occupation university student, medical history, sprained ankle, grade one, doctor's notes. Very active in sporting activities. Maybe it's the other one. I think it's the sister. Shop assistant, medical history, minor fracture, minor fracture, left shin, double fracture, right arm, major laceration, forehead. Okay. Doctor's notes. Regularly treated for small lesions. Very prone to accidents. Hmm. Front, medical history, irritative, bronchial, asthma, doctor's notes removed. Okay. Co. Co. Rolreich. Lisaskia. Bronchial infection, doctor's notes, unknown cause. 
Long work back out. Doctor's notes. Anti depressant ration was doubled. Sinus infection. Nikian Nicolia. Nikolai. Chronic back pain. Writer. Claims to be unable to take part in communal morning exercises. Here's a Rignani. Your officer, insomnia, bruising, premature acromodichia. Doctor notes removed. Siegfried. Cleaner, irritative bronchial asthma, contact dermatitis. Repeated contract. Repeated contact to chemical irritants during work. Okay. Well, that goes with the post box thing here. Who are we looking for? Ito Butcher? Last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Okay. Ah, uh, here. Alright, so... Oh, uh, their things are the same, so... S6... 560524... Cool. All right. So we got the number for the door there. So we got that to do. We also have a key to the patient room of row 512. Which is... You go up the ladder there. To the blue hallway? Oh, that's super easy. That's right next to us. Patient room. Let's check that out. Because I think that's pretty safe. Mission key, cool. This. Dream Diary. 6-9, I dreamt I was an Imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Kitze when a storm consumed us. The sand grinding us down until nothing remained. 13th night, I was a worker in the mines of Lang when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh, a flesh joining with the flesh of many others, until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh, which persists beyond death. Sixteenth night, as a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta. But I never reached the ocean below, I kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building and I woke up. Eighteenth night, I was floating in the sunless sea below the ice of Rotfront. When I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. Eighteenth night, I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun, like Iris, burned my body to ashes. Ah, like some of the things that have... some of the body marks here. I'm not putting a banana rot front laying. Okay, so the cards go here. Right, so... Wait, do I have to drop anything off? No, not really. Alright, so... That's just to get to the cards. Where to put them, I guess. Um... Right.
Oh yeah, we have that thing above. We have to get to... Shoot, how are we up there now? Oh no, we just go through the uh, ladder room there. Okay, that's not too bad. The dark apartment's easy because you just go around the one way. I think. And they're still downed, so... Alright, so commercial corridor. And according to that email, it is five six zero five two four. Enter. There we go. Cool. Song of the Gods. Banned. Position and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of. A song that we all dance to, but few can hear. The steep vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that can not only hear and play the music of the worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the empire of Yusan and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the empire on their carbon steel backs. Huh. Anything else other than the door? No, but while we're here... This is another one of the keys you have to get in the second playthrough for the secret ending. So it's this bookcase. We have to use the frequency of 240. Oh, oops. Here we go, keep sacrifice. Got any of the revolver equipment. Oh? Oh, it's that girl again. Isa, I couldn't find her. I looked everywhere. But she's not here anymore. It can't go on. I'm sorry. Okay. Jeez, turns into like a puddle. Dang, the only other... Forgive me. I was say the only other... Good person. Other than the, uh, trapped... Replicas. Prometheus. Here said I, forming mortals after my image, a race resembling me to suffer, to weep, to enjoy, to be glad, and thee to scorn as I. Hmm.
Isoldi. Photograph of Isa wearing a school uniform. America, their picture is badly damaged. That's a card. Resonant phenomena. Synchronicity phenomena that are meaningfully related yet lack a casual connection. You've yet to discover the true source of the ability of the mind to alter the physical world. That creating physical phenomena remotely simply by consciously or unconsciously willing them into existence forms the basis of the entire field of bioresonance technology. Before the advent of bioresonance technology, a casual correlations were often falsely interpreted simply as chance. Many phenomena such as remote viewing, doppelgangers, or the Pauli effect have since been classified as synchronistic phenomena related to bioresonant effects. The world we live in would be impossible without bioresonance, but its origins remain unclear. If it was truly a divine gift from outer space, as the late empress claimed, why was she defeated by our great revolutionary, who had no such divine powers? Hmm. Got one space. That's just a healing. Rows of dusty books. I don't have time to read these right now. Okay, same, same. Same, same. Alright, that's it. I can unlock this. Oh, well, I can just pick it up and use it, right? It's up to full. Pick up death. Alright. Death, a turret card. Depicting the 13th Major Arcanum, Death. Okay. That leaves... Um... That thing above, right? Yeah. That leaves the atrium thing. How in the world do we get that? Oh, Kira Sacrifice. On the horizon, I saw a star fall into the sea, and the sound of thunder like trumpets of angels flew over the water. I forgot I gotta read the, uh... thing for that, too. What is that? mix of hail, fire, and blood hit my wet face, and a third of all creatures that lived in the sea died. Huh. Jeez. Alright. 